Can you see a line of traffic? Yeah. Where does it start? Uh, it's that black car. Right, and where am I? Miles back. Am I three foot from the bumper of the car at the back of the line? Because I could be. Yeah. But I need that space to see, to think, to react. That's how I drive. If someone comes past me now and comes in that gap, I've lost that gap, haven't I? Yeah. And then I've got to slow down a bit. And it's, it's damn frustrating because I'm then doing 45 to make my gap again. And the lorry behind me thinks I'm slowing down and doesn't know why, and he can't pass me. And it's an endless trail of me speeding up and slowing down. But these cars here, look, they've got a gap to come in. If, what are they thinking about now? Because they need to be thinking what they're doing, don't they? Yeah. And I've created them a, a situation. Safe, isn't it? Easy. Yeah. What's the problem? Oh, you see what I mean now? I'm doing 50, he can do 60. And he's being kind to me, look. He's giving me plenty of space yeah. before he's cut in. Good bloke. Yeah, he is, he's kind. But a lot of, a lot of, they're, they're both, they're in before I flashed. Yeah, 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 It isn't long before we're on the first of our day's traffic queues on the A11 Newmarket Bypass. One of the things that gets you is that the world has changed yes. and the job hasn't changed. So in other words, you're well, still sitting here driving the lorry yeah, and the world has yes, actually changed yes. so that instead of sitting here driving the lorry, you're sitting here in a parking place. Yes. But fund fundamentally, we're still moving goods around. Oh, sure. For example, Mr. Blowers, yep. he carts pigs. He yep. used to cart my cousin's pigs, but he's got out of pigs now because he can't do the work. He's got old and his body doesn't work. Right. But that's still going on, isn't it? We are yeah, still yeah. moving yeah. pigs yeah. and glass and concrete and whatever. But the problem is, to me, in the 20 years I have been in haulage, as an employee, uh, as a boss man, as a manager, as a driver, as a whatever, not just a child looking at it with sure. a love. Yeah. It's all changed because it's all got about cost, it's all mm. about price, it's all mm. about big conglomerates getting what they need moved for the smallest amount of money. Yep. Nobody cares about personal service and they're not prepared to pay for it. They no. want uh, a Rolls Royce service for a Skoda rate. Yeah. And the trouble is the costs of running trucks goes up with inflation, doesn't it? Diesel goes up, mm. wages goes up, tyres go up, cost of a vehicle goes up, but the customer doesn't want to pay you more just so you can stand still and make your two, three, four percent, which is crap, it's not enough. Yeah. But the trouble is, amongst that, all of the little people have gone. When I was at Felixstowe Port, there were probably 40 hauliers get a living out of that dock, yeah. actually in the dock, and there were no end from Cambridge and Birmingham and Manchester used to run out of it all week. But now you look at Felixstone now, there's probably seven major players and a handful of little people who are like a pigeon at the edge of a bird table picking off the crap that the big boys don't want. Well, that isn't really, is it? And I haven't got many choices where I can work now, have I? But everyone's attitude has changed. In general, when you go somewhere to load, they've got to do something and they can't be bothered. So they don't want you there. So they've got the hump because you've turned up. And the same way you tip, they don't want you there either, and they've got the hump. And the traffic is hideous. There's nowhere to park. There's nowhere to pee. There's nowhere safe to be. There's nowhere, if you need, if you've got diarrhea, you're in a lot of trouble, aren't you, really? This is true. What do you do about it? But the congestion, the schedule, people's attitudes, I can't control anyone around me at all. How they drive is totally out of my control, isn't it? But they affect me. If that car suddenly decides to go in that garage, and they do, mm -hmm. I've got to do something about it. Yeah. And this queue, what's it all about? And we're, if we've got to be there at 10, 
on now late. We're now stuffed, aren't we? And yeah. if I got to have, if I got in last night at X and I hadn't finished yesterday's job, when the planner gave me tomorrow's job, mm -hmm. and I got hung up yesterday, I've got to have nine or eleven off. Yep. So I can't start before X. So I can only start say at seven. And if I'm booked in for ten, I can do it if I have a good run. But if I don't, I'm going to be late. Mm. End of. And we're not reloading this, but in a professional, they do. If I've now got to be in round the corner to reload something else to bring back, and I'm late going, there's a possibility I'm not going to get that load on. Oh, and then what? Do I come home empty or do I wait for tomorrow? So whatever, you're losing money, aren't you? Mm. But this is, this is not acceptable, is it? To me. It this, shouldn't be acceptable, This is a developed, yeah. one of the most developed countries in the whole world, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. the tops in banking, medicine, music, language, education. And look at this, we can't even get traffic from Felixstowe to Cambridge without queue. I think it's pathetic. Join us again for part three when we catch a very close thing on the A11 and head up the M11 for the big city. See you soon.